So as I do this, I, I wish to get the lines of the grid off. And, uh, but as I still wish to see what's on, I mean, even if I erase the lines of the grid, there is a slight hint in the bag, which helps. And then of course there's the ruler and it's all one inch. I usually rely on, if I place the grid here, I can see that here's the inch or there's the inch or anywhere on my picture, there's the inch so I can go up even though the other line is not that visible any longer. Now, an art teacher would probably tell you in this school, oh, you do it all wrong. First you have to do the outline, and then you have to color in. Mm, maybe. You know how often in the preface I got confused, intending to do it that way? All the lights and shades. Look, by the way, it smudges. I now I get a strong feeling maybe this is even softer than it should be. It smudges so much. What's the right way to do it? I don't know. I am considering the options each time. Each time when I start a project, I, I look at what are my options. And sometimes there's only one and sometimes there are very many of them. Now this feels much nicer to me to us and it's easier because I cannot really get confused whereas what in which of the lines is the shade of that is so hard and on the preface or preface the 38 little tiny little grids I had on the dark grid yes I did got confused with the planets although I counted and counted some more you can't get confused if you create anything you have to make it right. If you go wrong one step, then you know, you fall off the cliff. Like the fuckers and the suckers around us. They don't give a, you know, an F and a D and they give nothing for us. They sit there self-righteous and very, very, very obnoxious. Talking blah, blah, blah for what? So I listen to what? To blah, blah? No, I am looking at that and I see... They wish to ignore me and not that they only don't wish <laughs> they only don't wish to recognize me they not only wish to ignore me they want me to see how much they wish to ignore me how much they see me and disacknowledge me how little to zero to less appreciation they have and those who harsh bang on me and verbally physically in any way they do that because they want to you know why well, since they suppose and only those can do be harsh, the ones who are harsh, they suppose that anybody wants to harm them because that's the only thing they do and can see in life, to harm. So they're apart from their preposition or predisposition of harming people by letting them see how they are, how harmful they are, how evil they are righteous and rightfully they say since they don't know other than being harmful because that's their intent we don't only not wish to be harmful and harsh we can't and the very real unreal strange thing of that e evil and worse and evil go back is after they stab us they painfully ignore anything we say, although they exactly heard it. They wish to make clear that they don't give a damn fuck about us. That they're going to be provoke us anywhere they can to hurt and stab us and take our life away. Then they're going to go and wanting to crawl into my ass. It's like raping me all over again. Yikes, what kind of psycho mind comes up with that? So the minute I can shade in anything, I will do so. That's what I'm intending right now. Finding where I can shade in so I get an overview. That's very important. I went to, I think I was kind of bored. I lived in this beautiful, beautiful town. Beautiful town, the town of mine, the eternal spring. 
no seasons actually only the rain season in the summer but um all year long like around 80 86 85 degrees beautiful beautiful flowers everywhere i loved living there and lots of foreigners were, were there too which is which is actually uncommon in mexico so people mexicans got used to seeing white and blonde people running around it's almost a metropolitan town <laughs> which turned into a little city but it's more like a town so lots of art and culture happened there because of some organizations and people tried to do new medical approaches and holistic healing and then there is Tepoztlan nearby which is the magical mountains of Tepoztlan which I love to climb up it was so beautiful to me So I took this art class. I have another story of Tempest Line in my head. I took this. <laughs> okay, the other story is um, when I went to Tempest Line, uh, people from the town had actually barricaded the entrance. So you had to kind of stop at the barricade and show your face. And where I lived, since the rich people used to have their weekend houses there, first coming from the city, from big Mexico City, um, there were lots of kidnapping. But who does kidnapping? You don't know that. Usually it's, it's the judicial police as depicted in the movie Amores Perros. In the first version, the scene got cut off. They have the means. They have the weapons. And or handing ransom. But those also are involved in drugs, drug cartels. Yeah, the same people who are supposed to care that there is no drugs they're actually the ones who are pushing the drugs and um Tepoztlan, the town nearby where i live that was kept free because people actually organized and they held the barricade on the entrance so you had to show your face and they would always let me in real quick me and my girlfriend and i felt safe otherwise the judicial police would have just raped them all and took them all and you know, established some military regime in there, which I did later once I left um, my little town and the country, which I later did then there. And uh, when I came to visit in 2010, there were curfews and there were hanging, not bodies, only the heads from the highway bridges, all these little things, which strangely enough, I mean, isn't that a big news? I mean, it's, it's real news. Constantly. It didn't happen to arrive to the United States news. Can you believe that? Shh. Anyhow, back to my art class. So then people put in then little things in Cornavaca like dance lessons or hiring some, you know, the Cuban guy who would dance and teach people how to dance. And she, since she had the, she was an artist and she had the big house, she would charge us like two dollars or so. I mean, it was literally 20, 20 pesos, which is like two bucks. Just, I don't know, for the gesture, I guess. Um, so we spent the evening at her house and then there he would, you know, show people how to dance salsa and then people would sit or hang around and like in a party. Well, she was an alcoholic and she, she wanted to party. <laughs> Anyhow, she had a house full every, I don't know, once so often on a very regular basis. And someone said, hey, there's an art lesson in, the, in some gardens. The gardens in that city were so beautiful. I mean, the, the streets itself, is not so easy to see. Opposite to downtown, but downtown was mostly, you know, enhanced by the, by the lower class people, the poor people who would spend their Sundays there. So now rich people or medium people or we, we kind of survived there. We spent our times in gardens and the gardens were like awesome because everything grows and grows and grows all year long. So I went to this art lesson and this older lady was there and we were like several people in the garden and she gave us an assignment and there was like an old lady's face. So here I was intending to starting to do my thing and it was really cool because it was one of those like grandmaster faces with lots of wrinkles and which are if you put it in an art perspective, really beautiful. So I did that and then she came to me and uh, 
of course I hadn't finished yet, but I was getting there. Like I said in my last video with all these strange shapes, I mean are the strange shapes and weird shapes. And she said to me, no, 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 that's wrong. You have to make it, you know, and then you look up any video out there how to make draw a face. With all these little lines and these little shapes and like measuring like the ruler, how you do that. And they're all like dead. <laughs> the lady from the video yesterday, she even drew a parrot with the grid, she says proudly. A parrot, like five lines you can draw a parrot the way she did it. And she couldn't get it right. Not even with the grid she could get right of drawing a parrot. But the, pro the problem is, and the purpose is not to criticize her, but she was so absorbed in her egocentrical deposition that she forgot to actually look and listen to how it felt. So what did I do with the art? Oh, these, so to speak, art lessons and Cuernavaca with that lady who admonished me in this harmony <laughs> that I was doing it all wrong. She didn't even give me an opportunity to have a look. Well, of course, the lesson was over by then when she told me. And of course, I never went back. Not that I had the intent to be there in the first place. I just look at things and check things out. And yes, since this was my first time, I got a free trial. And that's all I actually wanted. Because I can sit in my house, which I did once. I didn't have much time with all the study and work I had to do and all the work and all the study. So many works of what? Oh, okay, so I was director of whatever. And I studied my university. And then and before I finished, I started opera. And then I had many jobs. Besides the foundation I was a director of. So I had not much time. And I had no money to pay for art. Oh, I can sit, I, I, once actually I sat there and I drew what I saw, like I showed you, maybe I did not, which was still life. Well, the masters had to make still life. I don't know why, because I think it's super boring, a bowl of what not so i thought well what do i see what's still around me <laughs> so it was a window and a cup a glass i liked a lot and a little flower pod a flower pod with a rose in it and then i added something like dali-esque inspired surrealism some darts flying in and the glass was tem temper tem tempered so you couldn't see through it was like these old-fashioned ways and it was colored, so it reflected light, so it took me a while to do all the details. And I was pretty content with the work so far, as such, just for myself. The art of erasing is something new to me, to erase anything. Look, it uh, looks actually pretty nice. It just happened. Naturally, uh, if you follow a grid, you can just follow the lines. That's simple. Yet, um, in all the great masters' artwork, there's relationships established. So don't forget that if there's the bumpy things, there is a relation. Like, this is a wave related to this, for example. And the next one to this. And then this part here is higher, but it's in a line than what comes on the left. I, f I stopped measuring exactly in this upper part. I was going to get it done like that, and this is in relation to that. Now, if you look at it, you will find out. Same as here, which comes up, which was so hard to grasp in my free face. Not to have put that in relation to find the, the, the movement. The movement. Check and check again and again. Absolutely, I always wish to help, hence the foundation. But here I can't help if you don't want to. They wonder if I poop and caca on God. And then they, I don't know what they expect. What do they expect if they poop and caca on God? I said starving early, but it's the same. They wish to fart on God. They wish to hurt God. They wish to torture God. 
And then what do they expect? I mean, what do they expect, even from their perspective? What could possibly be happening to go on in their minds, in their heads? Am I not doing this? Is it not a lot? Can you feel the movement going up and down here? Of course, it takes sensitivity to do art. Look, <laughs> was that a bird of freedom? Well, maybe I'll leave it there. No, I don't have the picture as I'm showing you this, so I like to go look at the drawing and see how big is the planet to see when to close it up. And that's something I just kind of feel into it to make the line real straight. I'm in awe. I'm estranged. It's so terrifying and horrible. Every time I go, there's like someone's all showing me how much they despise me. Oh, it hurts so bad in every single way. Even when I come and I supposedly say something like give me a compliment, they only do that to fuck me off. Now what happened? She didn't got the approval she wished. I say thank you and she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> which head doesn't fit well and that's what she she means harm so whatever i do or say she takes it as harmful they all wish to hurt me that's all they do i would like to have them off as soon as possible Of course, I wouldn't pass an art school with that method. So I didn't do it as prescribed, <laughs> like the law says. That's so Catholic too, because Catholics are the ones. So, you know, the Pope brought that in. It has to be this way, and there's no other way. Do you think God has? That? <laughs> I mean, of course, it must function. It must be available. It must grow. I mean, water, plants. You know, the procedure of nature. That's for sure. I mean, there's no way out of that. No, that thing, it has to be this one way and there's no other way. Because you stop looking, you see, and then you follow this prescribed, go, hurt princess, fuck of Jesus. You actually thought they're gonna be rewarded with that, can you believe me? Well, not for me, see if I find someone else. I mean, they come here with a pre preconceived agenda of going to hurt me. And as they do hurt me, don't they see? I mean, don't they, don't they acknowledge? I can't breathe how much hurting that costs. No, because they don't look, they don't want to. Sometimes before you continue on one side, you have to go where to see where you are going. Like, I know this is connected somewhere with the air. And in our life right now, where we are going, well, that's the only thing what keeps me breathing. This has to be over. This just must end. There's torture everywhere. It's just... I can't handle it. I feel like I'm dying. I cannot really not fathom why would anybody want to shoot at me? I mean, be harsh. I told you like a few videos ago that my grandfather, well, it was not really, but that's how I grew up. He was my grandfather. He gave me an art case. Well, he was taking lessons and he gave me an art case, used watercolor art case. It was like 
used, you know, used up half, but there was still half of color in it. And it wasn't, I appreciated it, that's my point. Whatever he did, I appreciated very much that he gave me that. I never used it. I intended once or twice, but I couldn't. I, and I didn't really enjoy it and I didn't really like it. But this does that give me a reason that I, I'm going to go ahead now and, and hurt him? <laughs> because I didn't like it. No, I was appreciative. That's what I mean when I say I appreciated what he gave me. Well, because I could see he did that. Well, not because he wanted to get rid of an art case, but he wanted um, to invite me to... You know, he looked at me and said, hmm, she might want that, right? And this is, maybe he wanted a new case, but so he combined that. You go ahead and, you know, figure if that's, you know, he didn't say any words, but I appreciated it. What are those thinking? Oh, she likes to sit in outdoors and away from her husband and crying and suffering all day long and all night long and starving and <laughs> she loves that. What the she 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 wants to be there instead of home. She wants to be in misery instead of in glory. And especially she likes to be mistreated wherever we go. Instead of being in the loving arm of her husband. Is that really what they think? See that unappreciative because if there is one reason an item I am here, it's because of them or you or whoever listens to. There's no other purpose than that. That must go. Nothing will perish. See that are only not appreciative. They never even consider the alternative. Because it just. Um, I wish to see they're just obedient little monkeys, but that's not what it is. They're actually angry inside. They want to hurt someone because maybe they have been licking all life along. And now finally someone says, go ahead and hurt her in public. <laughs> and they say, yay. <laughs> because they, they, they have no mind and they have no heart. They're just inconsiderate and they're just harmful. I can't take that. I can't handle that shit. The issue is that my grandfather meant well, but they don't even consider that I mean well as an option because they never mean well. <laughs>